Hmm, why is the ABS light still flashing? Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below. Check out the website revelatoralf.com. So in this video, I'm talking about your ABS light flashing. And is that normal? And do you need to get it checked out? Well, actually, as the bike stands right now, absolutely fine, that's normal. Even when you start it up, absolutely normal. When you start moving off, that light should still be flashing up until about two miles an hour, three kilometers an hour, then it should go out. If it's steady on, it's continuously on, you've got an issue. If it continues to flash, you've got an issue. So you need to get that checked out. And I'm gonna explain why. Okay, so the reasons why the uh, ABS light will continue to flash or would be stuck on and continuously lit, uh, a couple of reasons. Either it's a hydraulic mechanical issue uh, or it's an electrical issue. Uh, either way, you need to get it checked out. Essentially, the electrical side is gonna be from the ABS module and how it communicates with the body control module and also the uh, electronic control module. Those three main modules, how they interact with each other, the communication with each other, then how that information is then sent up to the instrument module. If there is some kind of communication error between those three, uh, or with the ABS module itself, and there's an electrical issue, then that will cause that to flash. What you need to do is then check for your error codes. If you check my video up there for how to check your error codes, then you'll see if you've got an error on the uh, ABS portion or the BCM or uh, the ECM. You'll, you'll see if there's a, an error code. Then you'll be able to diagnose that and see what the issue is. Okay, what about the mechanical, the hydraulic mechanical issue? Well, Essentially, the way the ABS works is if it shows that there's a discrepancy but on the, between the rotational speed of the front wheel and the rotational speed of the, of the rear wheel. Now, also, it will detect whether about a braking pressure as well. So that's how it all works with the ABS unit and also about the amount of uh, pressure that the brakes are allowed to put on uh, the brake pads and obviously onto the disc. If there's some kind of discrepancy there, if you've got a slight uh, oil uh, hydraulic fluid leak, I should say, uh, then that would interfere with the braking system and also interfere with the ABS system as well. Uh, if you've got faulty sensors on the uh, the front, the front uh, wheel speed sensor, the WSS, and the rear wheel speed sensor, that would also affect link into the ABS. You might have damaged it. You might have, uh, a rock might have... Uh, kicked up if you watch my other videos up there about the uh the the front wheel speed sensor and the rear wheel speed sensor um then you, you'll know what i'm talking about but as essentially if there's any kind of damage any kind of leak then you can have an issue with the abs unit itself the module and then that flashing light will continue to uh flash uh when it shouldn't now obviously you need to get this checked out does this mean that you can't ride your bike no it doesn't uh it still means you can ride your bike but obviously you just won't have abs on it so you can have normal brakes so you have to get that worked out so there you have it it's either going to be the electrical side of the abs unit the functionality or the uh, the mechanical side of it. You either got a damage to the components itself or there's going to be an electrical glitch or the way not only the ABS unit is working but module is working but also how it interlinks with the other uh, modules as well. So you'll have to check for your error codes as well. But there you go. So the, AB, so the braking system will still work if all other else is everything else is working it's just the abs function isn't working so just be aware of that so that's why it's still be flashing or that's why it's continuously on check your error codes check all the hardware and then if you still can't find anything obvious then you need to go and get it checked out by a dealership or a mechanic 
Also, one uh, further bit of information here. If you've changed your wheels, whatever reason, or you've changed your tyre sizes, that could also change the, um, the wheel speed sensing. Uh, and also, that could change the way that it was all fed into the uh, information, into the ECM, and then obviously into the ABS module and how that links. If there's a discrepancy there, then that may sh uh, fire off an error code, and it may... Uh, be links to why your ABS light is flashing as well. So make sure that your tyres and wheels are the size that they should be, then that will work fine. But anyway, go and get it checked out uh, by your leadership. They're going to hook it up to their full diagnostics and then you'll be able to uh, get this problem resolved. But uh, anyway, if that helps, please like, share, subscribe. Leave loads of comments below. Check out the website, revelatorav.com. Check the links in the description. And let me know if this has happened to you and how you got it resolved and what the problem was uh, that was causing this issue. Either the fixed uh, ABS light or a flashing ABS light as you're riding along. Right, catch you on the next video. Tell her now.